okay guys welcome back so in the last video i talked about the basis of gravity the basic things about the concept of gravity and how gravity is important and what is meant by the newton's law of universal gravitation and what is the value uh, what is known by the gravitational universal gravitational constant so that is the basis of universal gravity so in that video i, I talked to you that the uh, newton's uh, law of Universal gravitation is the basis of the theories on the other theories on gravity. So that will be explained in this video and the videos thereafter. So in this video, I will be drawing another relationship, right? Which is the relationship of as to how the gravitational acceleration is important uh, to gravity when you are making calculations. So in the last video, we found now if you have two objects like this, if you have two objects like this, now say this is the earth, right? This is the earth. I take this one here. This is another object like this, which is not on the Earth, but above some height above the Earth. So actually, the potential energy of this object will be discussed in the another video. That that is not the thing I'm going to discuss here. So I'll take the center of the Earth to be here, and the distance between these two objects as R, and the mass of this object as m. And this mass is infinite, infinite now say if you, are, uh, if you are throwing a ball out of space, right? If you are throwing a ball, now I have discussed that in the concepts of mechanics. If you are throwing a ball at uh, 50 meters per second, that will be out of the air and there will be a distance between these two points, right? So that's a simple example to elaborate this. So compared to, this, compared to the ball, the earth has an infinite mass, right? Infinite mass. So I will not take the mass of the earth. Alright. So... No, I'll take the mass of the earth so it will be easy for you, otherwise it's easy for me to describe as well. So I'll take the mass as well, right? It's okay. Alright. So now you know, now when a ball, now say, is going to take the same example of the ball, when you are uh, projecting a ball at uh, say 50 meters per second straight upwards, not in a projectile or a horizontal motion, translative motion, uh, straight upwards under gravity, what will actually happen is that the force that is building up the, between these obje two objects is the force of gravity, right? Force of gravity and the force, actually the force, the value of force will be the weight of this object, right? So if the force is F, force is F, F will be equal to mg, F will be equal to mg. So this force is actually the force, this is equal to the force right by this object on this object, right? That I described in the last video. So F is equal to mg. So what it actually happens is that if the, ma if the mass of this object is m and the mass of this object is capital M, right, simple m and capital M, and the forces are as follows and the distance between these two objects uh, is r, uh, from the Newton's law of universal gravitation I can say that the force on these two objects, force on these two objects is equal to g times mass of the first object which is the earth and the mass of the second object which is the, which is the ball and the distance between these two of the square of the distance between these two objects if we go g capital m by r square all right now the force now the force here is actually equal to mg i can equate it here mg is equal to g capital m simple m divided by r square so since m is not equal to zero i can cancel one m here so g is actually equal to gm by r square so g is equal to gm by r square so this is a very important relationship very important relationship g is equal to gm by r square now the mass of the earth mass of the earth is, we can consider the mass of the earth to be uh, equal because it's practical right it's practical the mass of this earth the mass of the mass of the earth is uh, is a constant right mass of the earth is a constant and g is already a constant so g the value of g is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two objects this is another important relationship when you are solving uh, the problems related to gravity g is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two objects right so this happens actually on the earth right if you have two masses like this uh, the value of g will be different right g will be different with m this is not will be mg there will be some other attraction so i'm talking about a situation in which a, a ball or some object is placed some height above the earth and how the value of 
GFX and how it depends upon the distance between these two. So to make G to make G constant, so what it actually happens is actually the value of G, the value of G is dependent upon the distance between two objects. Now when you are solving the equations and the other stuff in mechanics, what we did was the gravitation is uh, is 9.81 or 9.8 or 10 or something like that is to equal at any points, right? Equal at any points. So what it actually happens is now you can see that the gravity is dependent upon the uh, depending upon uh, change gravity changes depending upon the distance between these two objects so g is directly proportional to 1 upon r square all right so the next concept i'll be talking about is the uh, concept of uh, the value of e value of e right So the value of E is also called the gravitational field strength. Gravitational field strength. Right? Gravitational field strength. So this is another important concept of gravity so the gravitational field strength of an object or the gravitational field no so no, not the of an object gravitational gravitational field strength of some place is called the force per unit mass so e is equal to force per unit mass so if the force is f and the mass is m you know that force per unit mass is equal to f divided by m force per unit mass Right, E equals F by M. So gravitation field strength is equal to force by unit mass. So in this video, I in the beginning of this video, I talked about the concept F equals G capital M divided by R square. So this is equal to F is equal to G capital M simple M divided by R square. So E is actually again equal to G M by R square. G M is equal to G M by R square. Right. So and the, in the first part of this video, I uh, told you that actually the value of g is equal to g m by r square. Now, e is also equal, the gravitational acceleration is equal to the ratio between g m and r square. And here, the gravitational field strength is, is also equal to the ratio between g m and r square. So, what it actually happens is that from these two, from these two equations, you can say the right hand side is equal, the right hand sides are equal. I'll take this as Right. So the right hand sides are equal means that the left hand sides should also be equal. So what actually happened, the conclusion of this video is that E is equal to G is equal to G M by R square. Right? E is equal to G equals G M by R square. So the gravitational field strength of an object is called the force per unit mass and it is equal to the gravitational acceleration and that is equal to uh, the value of the product of G times M divided by the square of the distance between these two objects. So that is the value, uh, that is the importance of gravity and the concept of the gravitational field strength when you are uh, selecting an object. Now if the objects are close, placed very close to each other, R will be as low as possible. So R squared will be as low as possible, so we will get the minimum value of R squared. So if the mass of the, uh, say this is the earth, earth and a ball, so if the mass of the earth is constant. So what it actually happen is that E is also now, if you are considering the mass of an object to be constant like the, like the earth or some other planet. So G M will be a constant. So again E comma G will be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two objects. Right? Both E and G are inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two objects. So that is the importance of gravity and the concept of gravitational field strength. So that is uh, just another uh, concept of gravity and the series of videos on gravity so in the next video i'll be talking about another topic uh, which is the how as to how the density of a planet changes with the distance and the other stuff so see you then